is going on guys? It is Bodim Fifkill as you know. Today what I have for you is the first of a new kind of thing I'm doing over the next couple weeks, which as I mentioned in my last video, is something I like to call nuke school. Now basically, what that's going to be is over the next load of videos, I'm basically just going to be going through and schooling you on how to get nukes. So telling you guys what you need to do and just basically giving you tips on how to get nukes. So maybe you guys can get a little better, I can help you out and you guys can get some more nukes. Obviously it's kind of, you know, a running theme right now with all the nukes I'm putting out on my channel where the thousand nukes stream is going on i've got shifts on that and i've been getting crazy amounts of nukes so you know it kind of fits with what's going on i have a lot of gameplays and i have a lot of tips for you guys for that also a lot of people have been asking me how to do it just purely because of the fact that they've seen me play on stream and i do get a ton of nukes so that is the first video um, of that kind of new little thing we're doing for a while. I guess you could call it a, a series kind of thing over the next couple of weeks or like, you know, this week, maybe next week as well. And we'll just see. But yeah, uploading every day. So make sure you guys do come back every single day around 6 p.m. UK time to get those tips and help you guys get better at getting nukes. Because, you know, I kind of just assume that at this point, like a load of people had nukes because, you know, I'm just so used to playing with people who have. But there's like a ton of people who don't have nukes. And that's not a problem. I'll use, you know, uh, so some people just don't get the chance to play as much or they just don't play that kind of play style where you play to get nukes but you know hopefully by the end of this a lot more of you guys will have them so make sure you come back every day and then you'll get some tips anyway the main video the main point of this video is the class setup so what the gameplay you're watching in the background is a double nuke on breach using the maa7 and that is the class setup i'm going to run through today so let me get right into this so first of all obviously i'm using the maa7 i think this is definitely one of the best guns in the game if not the best gun right now actually it's definitely a beast of a weapon and probably the most versatile in terms of you know what, what maps you can use on and what like ranges you can just over overall just a really really good gun um when i'm doing the nuke stream and just going for nukes i pretty much use the ma on every single map it works well on pretty much every map like i said except for maybe combine and maybe aquarium but uh you know every other map is really strong on because in most of the maps there is a long range element to it even nuketown i'd say nuketown you know if you do play it right you can play it really really close range or really long range pretty much however you want to play it, as long as you know how to control it but you know this map this gun works dominant in pretty much any area it's really accurate it does a ton of damage and it has a lot of ammo as well and the fact that it's a burst weapon means you know you don't really run out of ammo very often either so it's just a really really good gun to be using so yeah this class m8 this is definitely probably why i've had most of my nucleus in black ops 3 with so make sure you use this first of all we have the elo i really don't like the iron sights on the m8 definitely not what you want to be using and obviously you want to have your accuracy on point if you're going for a nuke because you know you can't afford to lose a gunfight or miss silly shots especially if there's two enemies you want to be able to kill both of them if you miss shots you're just not going to give yourself enough time so elo is really really good it allows you to pinpoint you can use red dot if you want i just prefer elo it's really personal preference at that point but uh yeah especially with a burst weapon you want to be hitting those shots especially um and if you hit all four shots in a good area of the body you want to be aiming kind of high and don't aim for the head because then you're more likely to miss but if you are aiming you know upper body towards the chest that's usually where i like to go then you are going to be getting a lot of those one bursts which will come in very very crucial you know you're going to waste less ammo and it's just a really really good way um <clears throat> of you know getting your streak higher quicker getting out of tough situations and you know not wasting bullets as much moving swiftly onwards next we got rapid fire rapid fire is really really good especially on the m8 the burst um the fire rate in the burst of this gun was taken down towards the beginning of the game just because of how powerful it was um and so you you don't need rapid fire but it definitely does help out a ton and like i said those crucial one bursts that you're gonna get this will make those even faster so you're gonna be killing people even quicker and that's just gonna help you uh you know get off um into your streak and keep going and also like i said if you are in a sticky situation there's two guys or three guys however many there are you can get more shots off quicker so you're going to have a much better chance of killing those people yeah you are going to run out of ammo a little bit faster but it doesn't really matter because of our next attachment which is extended mags now extended mags is really 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 good i wouldn't suggest fast mags like i usually would because you know if you've got extended mags you're going to have a lot of bullets in the clip this gun has around 44 i think something like that crazy amount of bullets so you really don't need um that fast mags or a grip because of how accurate it is being a burst weapon i usually use grip but there's just a couple things i had to put on this class so i didn't have room for it so yeah extended mag's really really good and it gives you more ammo uh, in general just because you got to have a full clip so yeah extended mag's definitely really good and like i said again with the sticky situations with the three people or however many it may be you have much better chance if you don't have to reload in the middle of a gunfight and that's just going to help you a ton so a lot of going for nuclears is 
knowing that at some point there are going to be points where you're going to be in trouble. Ideally, you really don't want to put yourself in a situation where you will be in trouble, but if you do, you want to be able to get yourself out of it. So the mix between the ELO to help your accuracy, rapid fire to get shots off quicker, and the extended mags to make sure you have enough bullets to deal with the situation all come together to help you out an absolute ton. Now, next up, we have the RK5. Now, usually I don't run secondaries, tacticals, or lethal. That's kind of like my trademark thing, but everybody gets really mad at me when I don't fill up all 10 of my class setup slots. So I, I just slung on an RK5, and it turns out it is really, really good. And if, you know, like I said, if you're in a bad place, or you run out of ammo, or, you know, you go through a clip and there's still a guy left, you can quickly pistol switch him, just flip over, and just pull out that pistol, hit him with a pistol whip, and kill him with the RK5. It's pretty much like the M8, just with a shorter range, and it definitely does work better up close than the M8. So this gun can come in really handy. I'll find myself sometimes if I'm playing Nuketown, I'll go into the house with the RK5, kill like three dudes with one clip. So it just basically gives you a whole extra gun because the RK5, I'd say, is better than some submachine guns. So it's a really, really good gun to have as your secondary. Now, uh, I still don't have any tacticals or lethals just because I don't have the place for it and I really don't find them that useful. I think at this point in the game, a lot of people run flak jack and tack mask anyway, so they really don't do that much. And if you have a lethal grenade, you're, you're not... You're really won't get many kills with it to be honest um an attack tool it's not really necessary you're better off just killing the people than uh, you know wasting time to run stuns that might even get you killed to be honest but next up we have our first perk which will be afterburner i'm using the same perks that i always use first of all we have afterburner best perk in the game by far uh, in my opinion i could pretty much use a class with only this perk on and i'd still do good but Afterburner is a must. You want to be able to jump around a ton because, you know, you're going to be moving around faster. You can get more kills quicker. If you are in a tough situation, like you run around a corner, there's a guy right there. You can just jump up in the air, and it's going to be a lot harder for him to kill you. It's basically like jump shotting in previous cards, but a lot, lot more effective. It also means you can travel around the map faster, and if you are running the spawns trying to get a lot more kills like I am in this gameplay, then you're going to just be able to go off that a little bit more and, you know, just get a lot more kills, get around quicker and get more kills if you are running out of time towards the end of a game, which will happen if you are playing Followed on for nuclear. So, yeah, you want to be running Afterburner, definitely a beast of a perk. Next up, we have Overclock. Always use this. Obviously, if you're going for a nuke, um, you want to be using either Scythe or uh, Kinetic Armor. But if you're new to get nukes, I'd go with Kinetic because it can get you out of tough situations. Two guys there, pop it, it might get you through one, and then you got to use gun skill to get the other. And it just allows you to get that back more frequently. So, uh, Overclock is a must. Scavenger, in case you run out of bullets, mixed with that extended mags, you're going to have a ton of shots. Probably not going to run out of ammo too much, but if you do, remember you got that old trusty secondary weapon. and Finally, Tack Moss, just in case there are people throwing stuns, you can get away with it. And that's definitely going to save you on a lot of streaks as well. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys did enjoy this video. Hope you enjoyed the gameplay in the background and the class setup. If you did, make sure you drop a like. If you're new, subscribe. Hopefully, this class can begin to help you, you know, play a little bit better. Try this class out. Make little adjustments to it if you need to. Make sure you guys come back tomorrow because there's going to be more tips and more nuke school.